So you've downloaded Unity and you're feeling really good. You want to make a game, so you go and start a new project and you see there's loads of templates. Which one do you choose? Well, let's take a look. So let's say, for instance, you've downloaded uh, your hub and you've gone to click on a new project. You've chosen the Unity version that you've downloaded. And I've chosen Unity 2020.1.8 F1. And then you're presented with several options for templates that you can use as well as some uh, initial settings for the game, like the save location and the project name. The templates have changed over the course of a, a few Unity versions. It, it started off with just simply 2D, 3D, and then over time it changed and it added the high definite render pipeline. And there, there was another one called the lightweight render pipeline, uh, and, so, and maybe a couple of others, others as well. Uh, but now, today, currently with Unity 2020.1, we've got a 2D template, 3D template, high definition render pipeline, and the universal render pipeline. And these are all new as well, I think, to 2020. You've got some other templates, a 2D platformer micro game, karting micro game, FPS micro game, mobile 2D and mobile 3D. And they're really cool. You can go ahead and take a look at those in another video. Um, but they look like they're for quite specific use cases. More than likely though, whichever one of these we choose, we'll be able to adapt um, later on down the line. So what are these templates? Well, first of all, 2D and 3D, kind of self-explanatory, but um, the 2D will be for your, your side-scrolling games. Uh, and if you need any further information on this, you click on the eye and it's going to tell you that um, it's an empty project configured for 2D apps. It uses Unity's built-in renderer. And the same will be for 3D, um, except it's going to be working in three-dimensional space. Um, it's an empty 3D project that uses Unity's built-in renderer. So that's the standard Unity uh, and will be safe for most assets from the asset store. And it's like your vanilla version, your, your default go-to safe zone, if you like. And then next up, we've got the high definition render pipeline. This is targeting games that are use, using high end visuals. It's going to be used for your high end VR, Oculus Rift S, and other headsets, all PC based kind of experiences, and non VR as well for PC. But what makes this special is that it comes with several features that the standard Unity 3D template doesn't. So for instance, it, it comes with things like Shader Graph, which allows you to create really nice custom materials and shaders. Visual Effects Graph to create really interesting and different kind of particle systems and visual effects. And then it includes some presets and example content. So if you want high-end graphics, volumetric lighting with physically based realistic properties, and by that I mean all the light and the way the camera works Will be the same way it works in the real world so i think the lights work in lux and lumens and you can plug in the values that you would expect to have in a real world lighting situation and change properties of the camera such as its iso focal length bits and pieces like that so that's perfect if you want those high-end quality visuals and then next we've got the universal render pipeline and I've been using this quite a lot at the moment for my projects. I've been doing a lot of augmented reality work and a lot of mobile VR work for the Oculus Quest. Um, and this is like a lightweight version of, of Unity, if you like. And if performance and wide platform support is important, then this is the way to go. It still has shader graph built into it. So you can still leverage those really cool shaders. Um, and creating some nice custom effects. Doesn't have the um, VFX graph, but that's not too much of a big deal. You can still have particle systems and bits and pieces, but if optimized graphics across a wide range of platforms is important, then the universal render pipeline is for you. Both the universal render pipeline and the high definition pipeline have their kind of own post-processing built in. I think with 3D and 2D, you would need to bring in the post processing stack from the package manager but high definition render pipeline and universal render pipeline work slightly differently with the post-processing 
uh, and it works based off volumes. So you create like um, a collider and you attach a volume to it where you can add custom effects. So that's that's really cool. Um, and Universal Render Pipeline is my go-to at the moment. Uh, and But I've got some upcoming projects where I'm gonna be creating some high-end visuals. So high definition render pipeline is gonna be for me. So let's have a look at some example projects that are using these render pipelines. So this is Unity's Book of the Dead demo. Uh, and as you can see, it's all captured in real time. And I believe this was running on a PS4 Pro. And as you can see, it looks absolutely stunning. You've got the nice volumetric lighting there, the density of the textures is absolutely amazing. You've got great foliage, and these are probably all photogrammetry assets kept using um, real world objects. And they've got some really nice um, post processing there with the, with the depth of field. So if creating games with this kind of visual level is something that you're interested in, then I would definitely recommend the HDRP. So here we've got an example of uh, an application running in the Universal Render Pipeline. And as you can see, it looks amazing still. Um, you've still got all the post-processing effects. You've still got your shader graph. Um, and the, the level of quality is, is still there. Um, only you'll be able to target a wider range of devices and build targets. I use Universal Render Pipeline almost exclusively at the moment for some of the applications I've been working in. Uh, and they've been for augmented reality and virtual reality, as well as WebGL. So it, it just goes to show you how versatile the Universal Render Pipeline is. And without wanting to do too much of a plug, um, a Udemy course that I made uh, a month or so ago actually uses the Universal Render Pipeline um, and VR, it shows you how to make a game for the Oculus Quest. So that's it for this video. Hopefully now that gives you a good indication of what the render pipelines are and which one's more suitable for your game. It'd be good to know what render pipeline you guys like to use. So go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section below and we can see if there's a favorite. In the next coming weeks, we should have more Unity tutorials and tips and tricks. So stay tuned, I'll see you then. Thanks very much guys, bye.